How's it going guys? Steve Riggs, Anarchy Audio Works. Welcome to this quick start tutorial and overview of Vocalator Pro. I'll just go through the interface with you real quick as I'm going to be doing some more in-depth tutorials very soon. So please go over to our YouTube channel and subscribe so you don't miss any of those. This video is just going to be a real quick overview just to get you started. Okay, so Vocalator Pro is a 19-in-1 vocal processor, so there's no need anymore to build long complex chains of CPU hungry plugins and have settings everywhere and have to keep going backwards and forwards between loads of different plugin windows. Now, everything that you need to get a professional vocal sound is right here in one intuitive interface. It's super light on CPU, so it's great for using multiple instances in a project, and it's also great for tracking live in the studio and for live performances with the latency being so low. So let's go over its features real quick and I'll show you where you can find everything. Over on the left of the plugin, we've got the ASL EQ, which should be a very familiar layout for most of you. For the high and low bands, we've got gain and frequency controls. And for the high mids and low mids, we've got gain, frequency and Q controls. At the bottom of the EQ section, we've got a button which opens up the filters panel, where we have both low pass and high pass filters, and also a phone effects button, which is nice for quickly getting those lo-fi cell phone speaker type of effects on your vocals. You've got two stages of compression with ratio, attack, release, threshold and gain controls for each. And there are some small gain reduction meters next to the compressors themselves. But if you want a more detailed view of what's going on, you can click on the GR button next to the gain control to open up larger meters to get a more accurate reading. Next up, we've got the DSA, where you can target any unwanted sibilance and harsh frequencies in the vocal and attenuate those. And then we have the built-in limiter, which is gonna catch any peaks and keep your vocals nice and tidy. The limiter has a really nice transparent sound, same as the compressors. They're not modeled on anything in particular. We just wanted a really clean, nice transparent sound that then you have the option to add your own saturation to and dial in the perfect amount using the controls at the bottom of the plugin. There's also a built-in noise gate with threshold, attack and release controls, which is going to help you eliminate all those unwanted background sounds like headphone bleed or breaths in between the vocals themselves. There's a stereo width section where you can add some wideness to your sound and the visualizer above it gives you an indication of where your vocal sits in the stereo field. Then there's the built-in chorus with rate, width, feedback and delay controls so you can add some extra edge and modulation to your vocal using that. Onto the reverb section now, and this is actually a convolution reverb, so if you right click on the waveform, it's going to open up Vocalator's audio files folder with the 35 included impulse responses, and you also have the option of loading in any other impulse responses that you might already have. You can change the length of the reverb by dragging in the right hand side of the waveform, and you can also change the start point of the impulse responses if you really want to with the left hand side. There's controls for the wet amount, the pre-delay amount, and you can also choose how wide you'd like the reverb in the stereo field with the width amount. The reverb also has its own dedicated EQ which only affects the wet signal. Now over at the delay section, we have two different delays. We have the long delay, which is a tempo sync delay, which also has its own dedicated EQ. You can change both the left and right times of the delay. There's a wet control, feedback control, and again, a width control. Above that, we have the slap delay. And if you push the edit button, it opens up the panel in the middle of the plugin where you can find a wet amount, feedback, width amount. You can also add saturation to the wet signal and the left and right delay amounts are in milliseconds to dial in the perfect combination. There's a low and high cut for the wet signal as well and below that is the stereo field visualizer for these delays. As default, when you first open the plugin, this middle panel also shows the waveform for both the dry, uncompressed vocal and the processed vocal, which you can toggle between here at the bottom with these buttons. The orange waveform is the dry on process signal, the white waveform is the process signal. So you can have both of these on if you want to see how your vocal is being affected in real time and compare between the two, or you have the option just to have one or the other on at any given time, or you can turn both of them off. Now onto the tabs and controls across the top. First we have the GUI size, so you can easily resize the interface of the plugin to match your screen's resolution. And next to that we have the post EQ section. There's plus and minus dB readings up and down the left and right sides, and across the top and bottom, we've got the frequencies. You can turn the EQ on and off using the button in the top left, and click on the screen itself to add bands. You can right click on each band to change between peak, high shelf, low shelf, high pass and low pass, and you can also delete the bands and start over at any time, and enable and disable the spectrum analyzer. Using the trackpad or the roller wheel on your mouse, you can change the Q value of each node, and this EQ has an infinite amount of bands, so you're never going to run out of sound shaping possibilities there. 
Also on the top bar in the middle is the all important preset browser. There's tons of presets in here to get you going, all split off into different categories and genres. There's also a folder where you can save your own presets that you've created. And if you ever want to initialize the plugin again, you can just click here to go back to the start with a clean slate. Using the star icon next to the presets, you can also favorite them to easily be recalled later. In the more tab, you can show the presets folder, import presets and export presets. So if you ever wanted to share any of your presets with friends that also have the Vocalator plugin, then that can easily be done too. In the LFO mod tab, we have some modulation options. We have an easy sidechain option with the volume docking section in the middle. It has a mount and smooth controls. And in the drop down menu, you can change the time into anything that you need. We also have some high pass filter modulation and low pass filter modulation if you want to add extra movement to your vocals. The volume docker can also be used as a gating function as well, so you can dial in any shapes that you like. And using the roller wheel on your mouse or the trackpad again, you can also add curved shapes to really mix it up. Then there's the undo and redo buttons, and dials for your input and output signals. And last but certainly not least, my favorite part of the plugin, the ring modulator section. You can get some really crazy stuff out of these robot voices and really mangled up sci-fi effects. It's got an LFO mount with a drop-down menu to change the wave shape, the rate of the LFO, the driver mount, the mix of the drive, intensity, frequency, smoothing, on and off button, and over here we have some drive shapes as well. You can find some really cool presets to get you started on the ring modulator in the sci-fi and robots section, and if you're a massive geek like me then you certainly won't be disappointed with these presets. They're especially good when running them on a live mic and you can have loads of fun. So go and try the free demo version of Vocalator Pro today. I'll put the links in the description, but if you're already on the website, there'll be a button right below this video where you can go and download the trial version for free. If at any point you need to go back over this tutorial again, you can click on the Anarchy logo over here on the plugin and click on the Quick Start Tutorial button here, as well as links to download our one gigabyte free sample pack, go directly to our website, and there's also a few more links as well to find more about James and myself who built the plugin. So thanks for watching this quick overview video. Hopefully it's given you enough information to get you started. If you do have any more questions, then you're quite welcome to email me at support at anarchyaudioworks.com. And if you want to share any of the tracks that you've created using Vocalator Pro, then please feel free to tag us on Facebook because we'd love to hear what you've been working on and feature you on our pages. But that's it for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the upcoming in-depth tutorials. And thanks again for watching. See you soon.